Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about a quick fix on how to get your HLG footage to display properly in Premiere Pro. So this is an issue that doesn't really happen to me a lot now that I shoot mostly in S-Log3 with the Sony a7 IV. But before, when I was shooting with the Sony a7 III, I would shoot most of my stuff in HLG2 or HLG3. Now the problem with version 22 of Premiere Pro, which came out about November 2021 or December, I can't remember exactly, is that your HLG footage doesn't display correctly. And so in version 22 of Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro introduced a color management feature. The problem is that if you have HLG footage, but you do not need the HDR workflow and just want to use that footage in a standard workflow, the colors won't show properly. So I have this a7 III footage shot in HLG2 or HLG3, I don't remember exactly, but this is what it looks like in the source monitor. Once I bring this down into the timeline and look at it from the program monitor, we get all of these funky colors. So it looks a little bit oversaturated in certain areas and the fall off or of the highlights, especially in this area just looks pretty terrible. This is another example of footage that looks okay here. And again, here it just looks a little bit off. It's not as noticeable in this clip. You can see the oversaturating happening around the green leaves over here. So in order to tell Premiere Pro to display this properly, all you need to do is right click on your HLG footage, go to modify, interpret footage. You can see here that your HLG footage is using Rec 2100 HLG color space. So what we need to do that is just convert that to Rec 709 and that's it. Premiere Pro is going to display your footage properly in Rec 709 if you wanted the standard workflow and you're not delivering for HDR. The other thing to keep in mind is that your sequence also has to be in Rec 709. So you right click on the sequence, go to sequence settings and under video work in color space make sure this is set to rec 709 what happens if the color space on the sequence is set to rec 2100 hlg your footage is going to be looking a little weird because now your footage is interpreted to rec 709 so let's revert these two clips so let's use media color space from file rec 2100 hlg and now your footage is going to display properly because you have the right color space for both of these things. And now the same thing happens with phone footage. I have this footage from the iPhone 13 that as you can see right here and the source monitor, it looks a little bit desaturated even. And on the program monitor, once this is in the timeline, you can see that there is there are overblown highlights over here. It just looks really overexposed when in reality it shouldn't be because as you can see from the source monitor, the highlights near the window are still kept. So all we need to do again, right click on the clip, go to interpret footage and let's interpret it to Rec 709. And that fixes it. But one thing with phone footage as well is that you can also select Rec 2020 if you wanted to work in that color space. So. Just a lot of color management that you get in Premiere Pro. I am definitely not a pro in color management for the different color spaces, but from my understanding, this is how you can fix that. This is how you can fix the view in Premiere Pro for the different types of footage that you have. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, you learned something new, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, like this video and I'll see you next time.